We've come this far by faith, leaning, leaning on the Lord, trusting in His holy work, trusting in His holy work. He never failed me yet. My name is James Richard. I'm from Orange, Texas. I'm an honorable discharge veteran. I served from 1981 to 1985. I was living in my hometown, but uh, it was at the point where almost nobody really wanted to, to have any type of dinner for me. And that's a hurting thing, you know. Uh, and that's for family. You know, some people call it tough love. You know, and sometimes they have to separate themselves from you to keep from getting hurt. And I was living reckless, you know, I was using drugs, staying up, you know what I'm saying, two or three days at a time, and my life had got to the point where I was living uh, on the streets pretty much. I was, I was homeless, you know, and and, and and being homeless and not knowing where your next meal gonna come from, not knowing where you're gonna be able to take your next shower, not knowing if you're gonna be able to lay down, get you, get you some rest, or where you're gonna be able to lay down and rest. You know, um, I slept in cars, I slept in abandoned houses, and, and I, I've, uh, even slept, you know what I'm saying, on the back of people's porches, you know. Uh, my name is Maria Elena Garcia Baez. Me and my husband been married for six years and a few months. Uh, we have a son named uh, Aiden Alexander McClellan. We used to live in West Virginia, and uh, the jobs over there were not that, that great. And it brought us over here that there's more jobs, more opportunities, and be closer to my family too. We stayed uh, with a friend of ours. We had saved a, a little bit of money and he had uh, a little bit of trouble finding a job. The person that we were staying with, uh, he wasn't very nice. So he ended up uh, kicking us out. Uh, we ended up uh, sleeping under the bridge for a couple weeks. It was totally horrible. Uh, we were right there beside the river. Uh, the mosquitoes were bad, totally bad. Uh, we were glad whenever we, my husband called to the shelter and they said, yes, come on, because uh, my son was getting beat up by the mosquitoes real bad. I mean, all of us, but you know, he was, he was more, it was more horrible on him. We never, we never thought that we were gonna get to, to a shelter. Um, at first, you know, there is too many people there and we had to sleep on the floor. Whenever you are a family and then you have your kids with you and you are homeless, you know, they hurts you more because you have your kids right there, you know, looking at you like, you know, uh, why are we here? Why are we living under the bridge? Or why are we living with a bunch of uh, people? It's for the family, basically. It's for, for us to be together. And after I came here, I was so culture shock because unlike in the place where I go before, almost every day I went to the church. And the school where I used to go has a church, has a chapel. And here, it was so big, it's so huge that I couldn't find one with a cross and I was lost. I couldn't imagine myself going through the week without going to the church and it really saddened me and uh, I couldn't imagine this is my life here. I give up everything and I have to stay here without Christ. I was born in Heights Hospital and raised right here, went to you know, high school, Smiley High School, graduated in 66. Painter, because all my family were painters. Been a painter all my life. Yeah, I was downtown fixing to get the sticker for the car and uh, was going through a green light and a guy running the red light hit me. Broad side on the left side and messed up arm and I had contusions of the head. And, Well, I couldn't paint no more, so they laid me off. And because uh, they said I couldn't do the work no more. When I got laid off, we had a little savings. We spent them, and I picked up a couple of jobs. I f we could work at it right handed. I, yeah. We got to do a few little jobs that kept us rent paid to the last of 2013. And uh, 
then it got to where we couldn't pay rent no more. So we had to move out. And we stayed living in our car for about three weeks. When I got here, uh, I was welcomed and embraced with love and with care and with concern from the staff, even from the guys that had been here uh, for you know, weeks and months already. And they embraced me, you know, uh, because most of the time most people come here, you know what I'm saying, they're pretty tore down. I come here and, and, and they give me a lot of hope. They give me encouragement. They told me that you are somebody. You are a worthwhile person. You are a child of God. My family, we are very, very grateful to the Salvation Army that helped us because it's a really uh, nice help they give us. You know, they help us with the apartment, they help us pay the, the bills, which was, you know, really nice. And um, our experience right now, you know, is much better than being, you know, homeless. Now, my husband has a job, he has been working there since uh, March, he's been there for a few months now. We are very, very grateful to the Salvation Army, to everybody that, uh, that helps, uh, you know, make this possible, help us get an apartment, help us in, with food, with uh, paying the bills, and, you know, till we are able to, to make it on our own. One, one Saturday afternoon, I was able to find a flyer about the Salvation Army. And that really one Saturday thing, has a great impact on me, and up until now, I thank the person who posted the thing. If not through her, I don't know. Um, I've been through a lot lately, but I was not that, that strong if I wasn't able to find the church. And it was... It was difficult. I remember when I asked Captain one time, I only need a prayer for, for wisdom and understanding all the things that had happened to me. And through the prayers I was able to go through and and I believe he's with me all the time. Yeah. I think God just really focused us here, told us to come here. And that's when Sarah and Eldo was here. And we filled out an application and on a Thursday. We had about a hundred, a little over a hundred dollars in our pocket. And that's what it cost us to move in, to pay for the rest of the month. We came back that Friday morning. We come back that Friday morning. And we told, yeah, we proved. We had about $10 in our pocket. We went to the store, bought some Raymond Noodle. Some milk, some bread, and some cereal. <laughs> it done good with that till the first of the month, and then we've been here since. I, we couldn't have, we couldn't afford no no other type of apartments. It was seven, eight hundred dollars a month. They're high. And this is so nice. It, it's just it's very quiet. Oh, it, it's it made our life. Very quiet. You know, oh, they're burying me right here. I mean, I'll be here for good. He